morning. Today's March 9th, and we're doing a little update on our seedlings we started. These are uh, black seed lettuce. Uh, Paris lettuce. What do we have here? Oh, that's more Paris lettuce. Uh, early golden acre cabbage. These were planted on the February 14th. They're all sprouting up. But you can see the clustered little, they're starting to yellow on me. And they don't have really any true leaves coming out yet, so I don't want to fertilize them yet. I'll wait till they get the true leaves. Maybe just barely coming out. Maybe in another week or two I can fertilize. But I think why they're yellowing is this is just a starting mix. It doesn't have many nutrients in it. A little bit of worm castings. So I may take and like this one. Trim off some of these other guys. So there's not so many competing for what little bit of nutrients are in there. <clears throat> Let's see what we have here. That's quite a bit of them there. We'll take the smallest one there. Trying to lead the nicest ones. It's kind of hard to get in there. I don't know if this is picking up or not. We'll go ahead and take that one since it's falling over and take that one since it's falling over. We'll cut out about half of those. That way may give us a shot at may give us a shot at um, these things growing. And uh, living for another week or two until it's time to I can put some fertilizer in there on them we'll leave those maybe I'll take uh it's hard to decide there's a small one thin them out a little bit <clears throat> that's good here's our spinach we started these uh January 2nd So they're doing pretty good for inside and it being cold. We see a little bit on this one, a little bit of yellowing on the tips. I've had to fertilize these already one time. So there's our spinach. And here's our iceberg lettuce. It's doing great. These were started on the 8th, January 8th. I should probably go in there and thin these out too. Or maybe even transplant them. There's like two in this one. Maybe I'll just go ahead and cut that one off of there. Try to help these guys out. Maybe I won't mess with getting in there trying to break them apart cut that coddling leaf off that's your first leaves that come off of them so there we go here's it's got several so we'll just see if I can cut that out of there cut that out of there
give them a chance. That leaf's not doing too well, so we'll cut that one off there. So now we go. There we go. Get them back to one plant in there. Then they won't have to compete so much for what little bit of nutrition is in these little mix. I did fertilize that with some water-based fertilizer, high in nitrogen. These are all leafy producing plants. So with the leaf producing plant, take these little, uh, you want a high nitrogen fertilizer, but they're still small plants, so I have to mix it at quarter strength. And this is probably what I'll do with these this probably in another week to stop some of that yellowing. But anyway, there you go. There's an update on our spinach and lettuce and cabbage seedlings. So far, they're doing okay. Um, it's still cold. It's middle of March, the 9th, almost middle of March. So I'm thinking about the end of March, I can get these outside. About the last week of March, I'm going to try to get them outside. I've got a few more little small boxes made for these guys, and they're cold hardy, so they can take the colder weather, but we'll just see how it goes. I've been acclimating them outside for the past week, take them out an hour, and bring them back in, and I've got up to three hours on them so far, being outside, and they do okay. So when they get a little bigger, maybe here in a few weeks, I'll make a video of planting them outside. Well, there you go. Thanks for watching.